Hello everyone, I am Tulio Lanen and in this video I'll take a look at the big brother of the Creality 3D CR10 3D printer. The original Creality 3D CR10 has become a very popular 3D printer. They come from a Chinese manufacturer but are very popular on the market right now because they have a simple yet strong design, deliver good print quality and most importantly you can have the original CR10 for less than $400. There are two big differences between the standard and the bigger sized CR10. Instead of the 300 by 300 by 400 mm printing volume, which is already quite big, you get a huge 500 by 500 by 500 printing volume. The second big difference is the price. Instead of the $400, the extra volume makes the price around $1100. That is a big price difference, so I was wondering if it would be worth the extra money. When it arrived, it was way bigger than I expected. It is too big to fit on a normal desk, so I had to set up a completely new table in my workshop just to place this printer. The box included all the needed tools, and even a mini SD card with a USB adapter and some very convenient spare parts. On the SD card you find all the needed instructions and even some test models to start printing immediately. The interface is very simple. With a single knob you navigate through the menu, which is very understandable and straightforward. I was curious about the build quality. I was worried it would be less sturdy than the original one, but I was happy to see they used double V-slot rails everywhere. Even the build plate rides over two rails instead of a single one. This bigger version has more powerful motors and it has one extra motor on the Z-axis. This makes the printer very strong and feels very durable. There are no plastic or pre-3D printed parts like in some other printers, for example the ANET E10. The printer exists out of three pre-assembled parts, which are easy to put together. And my first test print went very smooth. Only warming up the printing bed takes very long, but I guess that's to be expected. So if you are familiar with the CR10, there's not much new to say. It's very similar in every way. That does however raise the question why it's so much more expensive. To me it seems the only reason to choose for this bigger version is if you really need to print very big objects. That sounds very straightforward, but in my experience you almost never need to print in this scale for a number of reasons. First, it takes ages to print this big and it consumes a lot of material and second of all, the most 3D printed models can be broken down into different pieces so they are able to fit on a smaller or normal sized 3D printer. So in short, this 3D printer is really only for people who have special projects and really feel the need to print very large objects at once. If you don't have this specific requirement, the normal CR10 will definitely fulfill your needs. So make this decision for yourself. But if you don't have a reason to print very large objects, it's not worth the extra money. The original CR10 is already bigger than most high-end printers, like for example the Ultimaker 3. And with that, I'd like to thank GearBest for being able to talk about this printer in this video. In the description, you can find all the links to the printers. I have reviewed more printers in the past, and more will come in the future. So feel free to subscribe, and I'd like to thank you for watching. See you all next time.